everyone and welcome to new Nyonya Malacca Flavors channel. The recipe for today is Onde Onde Gula Malacca. Let me introduce you to all the ingredients for the Onde Onde recipe. So this is 200 gram of glutinous rice, 35 gram of rice flour and 110 mashed sweet potato. This is a puchok manis, roughly about one handful. And this is a pandan leaf, it's a, about a five to six leaf. And this is water, 200 ml. And this is sesame seed. And this is grated fresh coconut. And this is gula melaka. Now, let me show you first of all to steam the coconut first. So, I let the water boiling, then only I will put in the grated coconut. Secondly, now I'm going to grate the pot, uh, grate the leaves. So, the water, the leaf to be. the water is boiling so I'm going to steam the coconut two or three pinch of salt that we can evenly taste it as evenly uh, well mixed it's ready it's about 15 minutes so we can remove it Let's put it aside till it's cool down. Okay, now I'm going to proceed with the mixing of the ingredients. I mix all the ingredients. This is flour, and this is the rice flour, sweet potato first. The three ingredients I will mix first. Mix it until it's evenly, it become like uh, uh, crumbling. Put it, add in salt, the oil, and the juice, the pandan juice. Gradually pour in. You see the color is very 
cup green with your use of the puchu manis the pandan only give the sweet flavor so gradually i'll see the texture not all gradually so now you knead it until it become turn the dough will become smooth and not sticky non sticky now you look at it the dough is smooth and it doesn't stick you no know, to the to the fingers and it's smooth okay so the this let it rest for a short while and clip wrap it just for a 10 to 15 minutes okay. I'm going to grate this I'm using cheese I was, I'm using cheese grater to grate the uh, brown sh the black, uh, the brown sugar. It's easier than you chop or you cut. This is very fine. It requires two pieces. Now you make it easy, you just make into a small bowl. You see, then you can insert into the dough. Into this small lump. Small bowl or lump lah, whatever it is. This is water is boiling for the Boiling of the only only, so just put one or two leaf and then leaf into the water, give out the fragrant smell. I will show you how you make it into a ball and insert the put the gula malaka into the cavity. The width of the uh, dough, the ball is roughly around uh, seven to eight, but you can also on your own desire what size you require, okay? So just put in inside and secure it properly so that it won't leak. Okay? You make it into this cavity. Just insert the gula malaka inside and roll it. Become a round ball. So simple, isn't it?
it's up to you to choose lah which one you want to do either you do this way or you do the just dented the flour the dough a bit the ball and then you insert either way now I have another method to show you how you use caramel gula melaka this gula melaka you need to boil it for two pieces of gula melaka you need about uh, one uh, 15 ml of water that is good the texture should be very quite thick all right so you just watch how i do it's the same method as the first one you just make a cavity a cavity like this and you pour three quarter of the gula melaka inside so just secure it and pinch it that's it and just give it like that there are two ways lah the method so you can choose the easiest Wave. Okay, since the pot, okay, since the water is boiling, now we leave up dish, uh, leave out the pandan leaf to put it away. So we can um, put in all the ready-made uh, ondi ondi and cook ball inside the water. Okay, done. And then you all see, it's almost floating up already, right? Now I'm dishing out. But uh, do not leave too long inside the pot. It will burst, you see? And the uh, sugar, the bulang uh, laka will be leaking, you see? So now, I just put it here to tap it so that it's not so wet when you coat with the coconut so now i just put on top of the coconut you need to spread it so that is uh, more space for the Just coat it with the coconut. You roll it so it's evenly, and you see, there's no leaking. You see, sometimes, and if you feel do it not properly secured, the edges then it will leak
other side right remember here then you just uh, sprinkle some the sesame seed this is the nonya stuff okay wait. this is the final product for making the onde onde and this is popular in Malaysia particularly in Malacca in Singapore and Indonesia so this onde onde is sim is very simple to make then suitable for parties tea times and during happy occasions thanks for watching my video please like and subscribe for my upcoming video thank you